Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about ECU abstraction layer. Before start to discuss about ECU abstraction layer, first we can understand about AutoSAR layers. Basically, AutoSAR has three layers. One is application layer, second one is runtime environment, third one is basic software. The basic software can be divided as three more services or three more layers. One is service layer, ECU abstraction layer and microcontroller abstraction layer. Already we have discussed about service layer and microcontroller abstraction layer. If you didn't watch those videos, please watch it. I have mentioned everything in the description. In this video, we are going to discuss about ECU abstraction layer. ECU abstraction layer is the middle layer of basic software. The interface layer and the external drivers are located in the ECU abstraction layer. As you all already know that internal drivers will be located in the M call microcontroller abstraction layer. So ECU abstraction layer has the external drivers. The ECU abstraction layer will abstract from the hardware realization of a specific device and provide a generic API to access a specific type of device independent. For an example, CAN interface module provides a generic API to access CAN communication and networks independent on the number of CAN controllers within an ECU. First, we can understand about drivers. So you all know that driver has two parts. One is internal driver, another one is external driver. So basically, a driver contains the functionality to control and access an internal or external device. Internal devices are located in the microcontroller and external devices are part of the hardware. So internal devices are located in the microcontroller. Some example is internal u probe, internal CAN controller, internal ADC. External driver. External devices are located on the ECU hardware outside of the microcontroller. Examples are external u probe, external watchdog, external flash. External driver located in the ECU abstraction layer and it accesses the external devices via drivers of the microcontroller abstraction layer. The ECU abstraction layer consists of the following parts. I.O. hardware abstraction, communication hardware abstraction, memory hardware abstraction, onboard device abstraction, crypto hardware abstraction. In this video, we can discuss more deeper about all these abstractions. The ECU abstraction layer is highly dependent on the ECU hardware and provide abstractions for. For an example, every abstraction has many interfaces. We can see one by one. Communication hardware abstraction. It has CAN interface, CAN transceiver hardware, Ethernet interface, Ethernet transceiver driver, FlexRay interface, FlexRay transceiver driver, LIN interface, LIN transceiver driver, TT CAN. Memory hardware abstraction. It has memory abstraction interface, flash EEPROM emulation, EEPROM abstraction, and onboard device abstraction. It has watchdog interface. I.O. hardware abstraction. I.O. hardware abstraction. Here we can discuss more deeper about each abstraction layers. First we can start with I.O. hardware abstraction layer. The I.O. hardware abstraction is a group of modules which abstracts from the location of peripheral I.O. devices and the ECU hardware layout. The ECU hardware layout means microcontroller pin connection and signal level inversions. The I.O. hardware abstraction does not abstract from the sensors or actuators. And one important thing is all these interfaces does, doesn't change the data. The different I.O. devices might be accessed via an I.O. signal interface. The task of I.O. hardware abstraction layer is it will represent I.O. signals as they are connected to the ECU hardware. Example, current, voltage, frequency. And it will hide the ECU hardware and layout properties from the higher software layers. Communication hardware abstraction. Communication hardware abstraction is a group of modules which abstracts from the location of communication controllers and the ECU hardware layout. For all communication systems, a specific communication hardware abstraction is required. For an example, LIN can flex ray. We can take one more example. An ECU has microcontroller with two internal CAN channels and an additional onboard ASIC with four CAN controllers. The CAN ASIC is connected to the microcontroller via SPI. 
serial peripheral interface. The communication drivers are accessed via bus specific interfaces. Example, CAN interface. The task of communication hardware abstraction layer is it will provide equal mechanism to access a bus channel regardless of its location. Location means on chip or on board. Memory hardware abstraction. The memory hardware abstraction is a group of module which abstracts from the location of peripheral memory devices on chip or on board and the ECU hardware layout. We can take one example here. On chip EEPROM and external EEPROM devices are accessible via the same mechanism. The memory drivers are accessed via memory specific abstraction modules. Example EEPROM abstraction. By emulating an EEPROM abstraction on top of flash hardware units, a common access via memory abstraction interface to both types of hardware is enabled. The task of memory hardware abstraction layer is it will provide equal mechanism to access internal meaning on chip and external meaning on board memory devices and type of memory hardware meaning like EEPRO and flash. It's this memory hardware abstraction is microcontroller independent and external device dependent. Onboard device abstraction. The onboard device abstraction contains driver for ECU onboard devices which cannot be seen as sensors or actuators like internal or external watchdogs. Those driver access the ECU onboard devices via the microcontroller abstraction layer. The task of onboard device abstraction is abstract from ECU specific onboard devices. Crypto hardware abstraction. The crypto hardware abstraction is a group of modules which abstracts from the location of cryptographic primitives, internal or external hardware or software based. We can take one example here. AES primitive is realized in C or provided a software library. And the task of crypto hardware abstraction is it will provide equal mechanism to access internal and software cryptographic devices. This is microcontroller independent. In this video, we have discussed completely about ECU abstraction layer and interfaces. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please share it to your friends. If you want to stay with us for more technical content in Autosar, please subscribe our channel. Have a nice day.